What's going on everyone? Frisbee Noah here coming at you guys with a brand new video today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Z Hades that came out at D-Glow this weekend. Uh, I played down there, ended up snagging a few of these. Uh, I want to do a review for you guys. I'm going to throw a few shots, kind of give you my honest opinion of it. Uh, and if it's going to be staying in my bag or if it's going to be going on a wall for a wall hanger. Uh, I had Paul sign this one. Um, and this was the one that I was gonna throw in my bag because I liked it the most. Uh, but let's jump right into the profile and the overall look of the disc up close. Okay, so we're gonna be taking a look at the Z Hades. Uh, we're gonna do some side profiles, kind of take a look. Here it is slightly flat, decent sized rim. The tooling on it is very, very nice. Uh, and the weight of this one is actually 173, 174. Um, it's fairly flat. I ended up getting a few of these. I'll kind of show you guys the ones that I ended up getting. Um, like I was saying, I had Paul sign this one with a flat white stamp. Uh, it feels super like firm, um, up top here in this like rim area. But once you get to the middle, it's super flexy. So I think that's going to make it a little bit more stable. Um, but it kind of depends on the, the, uh, production that came out on each of them so they're all a little bit different uh, i'll show you the other ones that i got I ended up getting a black on black z a white with like a color shift which i think is probably my favorite one and then um i have a pink rim with I believe it is blue flowers. Yeah, blue flowers with a white inside. Uh, this one actually is probably my favorite, to be honest with you. But let's jump right into this Hades review. I'm going to throw a few shots with it, flat and hyzer, hyzer. Uh, and then I'm going to see if I can throw a roller and a forehand roller for you guys. Kind of see how this thing flies. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so our first throw, I'm gonna throw Anheuser. I do kind of have a tailwind kind of pushing it, so it might make it a little bit more stable uh, than it's supposed to be. But I'm gonna throw this on Anheuser and do a little flight tracker for you guys so you guys can see how it's gonna fly in the air. That got great flight with the tailwind. It is a little bit stable with the tailwind, but uh, I think I got it probably about 340-ish, 350-ish out there. Okay, I'm gonna throw one with just straight hyzer out of the hand, see how it flips up, what it does in the tailwind, if it's just gonna hold a hyzer um, and just kind of stay there, or if it's gonna wanna flip over and kind of roll with it as well, so. That just kind of stood up a little bit and just glided forever straight and then got a nice reliable finish straight at the end. I'd say probably about 340-ish, 320, 340 in there. But that felt really nice out of the hand. Had a great flip up, kind of just held its line and just kept going. Okay, so that one measured out to 347. Just using my Bushnell 850. Uh, ended up just going out to the disc, hit right in front of the cement here and it came out to 347. So I'm gonna throw uh, one forehand uh, with Anheuser, one with Heiser, kind of see how it reacts with the tailwind. Uh, and if you can, kind of throw it with a forehand and with some torque. So let's jump right into it. Okay, I'll throw this one with, with Anheuser first. With slight Anheuser. Okay, probably about 320-ish. I'll mark it real quick, see where it's at. Three thirty-five. So it was out there, but nose up, I'm sure I can get a lot more flight out of it. Uh, I'll throw one more with severe hyzer and kind of see how it reacts with the wind. Okay. And then I'm gonna throw this one on quite a bit of hyzer with the tailwind. I'm gonna see how it reacts, what it's gonna do out there and what kind of distance we can get. So let's do it. Wow. 
flipped up, just glided super straight and just ended up bailing out. Okay, so that last flight was a lot shorter than what I was expecting. It was probably about 300, 310 feet. Uh, I threw it with a lot of hyzer and wanted to see what it would do with the tailwind. Um, throwing in a tailwind, it is a little bit more stable than what I was expecting, uh, but any line that you put it on, if you release it flat, it's gonna stay flat. Uh, it's gonna have a little bit of flip, kind of pull over. Um, I threw it on Anheuser, and Heiser in both of them averaged about 350, 360-ish, uh, right in that range. Um, and I'm not a big backhand player, so I'm predominantly forehand. Uh, those two forehands that I did throw were about 350, 360. Um, and it just held it li its line that I put it on very nice. Uh, I like the way it feels, uh, and Dishcraft did a great job with the tooling and the edging on it and everything. Uh, feels really good in the hand, uh, and 10 out of 10 for the stamp. The stamp is super cool. I really, really like it, uh, and I think you guys are going to enjoy this disc as well if you guys get your hand on it. Uh, I don't know if they're actually releasing this spe specific stamp to the public or if it was just a... Um, Great Lakes open this weekend. Um, but once they come out, I think you guys should pick one up, see how it flies out there. And uh, it's it's a solid disc. I really like it. It's something that's probably going to go in my bag and stay in there until I lose it. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you haven't yet, subscribe, subscribe down there. Uh, I'm gonna be posting a little bit more coming up these next couple of weeks, uh, coming into some big events and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys in the next one.